Hey guys and welcome to this week's edition of Project TJ. Now I've been asked on Instagram and if you're not following us on Insta make sure you do because as parts come in I tend to take a photo and put it up there. Yes I know, sad man that I am. However, that question was, I've got an Alpine multimedia unit which could be a double DIN or a, a halo unit like we've got in Project TJ and the guy would like to put a custom splash screen on it. How do I do it? So a splash screen is when you first turn the unit on and it comes up with the Alpine logo. You can change that to whatever your graphic you want. All you need is a correctly formatted USB stick that's not too large and a graphic which has to go within certain parameters and file names. We'll run through that in a moment. Uh, can be anything you want as long as it constrains to those parameters. So we're going to put a Project TJ logo as a splash screen. Okay, now parameters. You need a USB stick formatted as a FAT32 format. Now if it won't format as that you could find your USB sticks too large. The smaller ones work best. So smaller and cheaper, not a dupe thing. Anyway, image size has to be 800 by 480 pixels. No smaller, no larger, just that. So whether you're cropping something down or making it from scratch, that's the size of your image. Um, you're going to need some sort of image processing tool for this unless you download my file, which I will put a link down below. So if you want a pro Project 2J file for your Project 2J, be my guest. Um, it needs to be an RGB file, so not a CYMK file, but most of the files that you guys will work with will be RGB files. It needs to be of 24 bits or less, um, but again, most of the files that you guys will be working with will be that anyway. Now, when you've got your file ready, you need to save it into a folder on your USB stick. That folder name needs to be opening file. No spaces in that, just one word, opening file. You need to save the file as a bitmap file and the file name needs to be opening file, again one word, with the extension BMP. If you do that, you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. But again, if you want a Project TJ startup screen for your Project TJ, I'll put a link down below for mine. So once you have your file on your USB stick, take that to your vehicle. Insert that USB stick into your USB input on your deck. Turn the deck on. That is the Alpine splash screen. You should get this opening customization. Press OK. Remove USB stick and press OK. We should now be able to turn this back on and we get our Project TJ startup screen. So there you go guys, that was both easy and cheap, which you don't get too often in the Jeep world. And it also gives you something nice that when you get in the vehicle you're not bombarded by someone's advertising and it's something that relates to you. As I said, I'll put a link down below to the Project TJ splash screen if you'd like that for your Project TJ. If you'd like some merch, there's a link down there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.